In this problem, we're told about an atomic nucleus that is littered with protons and it's a sphere with a uniform surface charge distribution. A helpful thing to remember for problems like this is that a spherical uniform charge distribution is effectively the same as a sphere with all that charge concentrated at the center. The electrical effects are the same. So when the problem asks us about a point at the surface of the nucleus, a much simpler way to think about this is that we just have two relevant points, separated by a distance equal to the radius of the nucleus. In this case, the problem asks us to find the magnitude and direction of the electric field produced by the protons. Now, recall that the formula for the electric field produced by a point charge is equal to that charge, the charge producing the electric field, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught, basically the Coulomb constant, multiplied by the square of r which is the distance between the point setting up the field and the distance and the, and the point that we're analyzing. It is that radial distance. Let's simply apply that to this problem. So the magnitude of the electric field we're looking at is equal to the charge of the proton, or the charge of the nucleus, which is equal to the charge of 94 protons put together. So, that's, so our Q is 94 multiplied by the elementary charge, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught, multiplied by the square of the nuclear radius. Now let's substitute in our values. So that's 94 multiplied by the elementary charge, or 1.6, multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs. And this is all divided by 4 pi, multiplied by 8.85, multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 12, with all of its crazy units that no one ever really cares about, multiplied by the square of the radial, which is given as 6.64 femtometers. So that's 6.64 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 15 meters, and that's all squared. So if we put this into a calculator, then we find a magnitude of the electric field of about 3.07 multiplied by 10 to the power of 21 newtons per coulomb. So that's the answer to part A, which asks about the magnitude of the electric field. Part B asks about the radial distance. Specifically, it asks inward or outward. This part's pretty simple. By convention, electric field lines point away from positive charges and toward negative charges. In this case, we're looking at a nucleus that is made up of 94 protons, so it is positively charged. And so the electric field points radially outward, away from the nucleus. So the answer to part B is outward. And that's the full answer to this problem, so that is it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video, or you just like to hang out, my Discord server and my other YouTube channels are all linked in the description below, so check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.